teachers can assign a variety of materials as assignments in Google Classroom. This can include documents and Google Slides, as well as PDFs. In this video, we're going to look at PDFs and how to annotate over top of them using the Google Classroom markup tool. The first thing I do is I would open up my assignment. At the bottom where it says your work, I'm going to drag up and I'm going to see that there is a PDF attached here. When I select the PDF, it'll open up into what I'm calling preview mode. In preview mode, I can preview the questions that I will be answering. If you have speech selection turned on, you can highlight and press speak for it to read the problem to you. Circle all the quadrilaterals that are squares. After I'm done previewing the question, I can select the pencil tool. This will bring me into annotation mode. When in annotation mode, if I want to move or scroll or zoom in, I use two fingers at a time. When I'm ready to start, I will use one finger and tap the tools at the bottom. The tools from right to left are text box. Text box, you simply click anywhere on the document and you can start typing. The next would be the highlighter. If I select the highlighter twice, I can choose the color in which my highlighter would be, as well as the thickness of that particular highlighter. I'm going to choose yellow and I can highlight the term quadrilaterals and squares. Next tool is the marker. Again, I can tap two times to select my color and my thickness of that marker. I can use the marker for circling items, such as in this case, I'm circling all the quadrilaterals that are squares. Using two fingers, I will scroll down to the next question. This time, I'm going to use the pencil or pen tool. Again, selecting twice, I can select my color and the thickness of that, and I can circle the quadrilaterals that this time are parallelograms. Down at the bottom, I can tell whether each one is true or false, and I'm going to use the highlighter tool for this. The final tool over here is my eraser. The eraser is really neat because I can, if I tap twice, I can clear the whole page and start over or I can just tap on something that I want to erase. For instance, this line right here, I don't have to color it like an eraser, I just select that line and it automatically disappears. The final tool on the left is your selection tool. This is great if you're doing work or writing notes. I can draw a box around whatever I want selected and here I can move it around, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. If I have notes off to the side that I want to decrease in size, I can select those notes and I can make them more readable. When I'm finally finished, I will scroll up to the top and select Save. The important thing to note here is when you save this document, it will look like nothing's actually saved here, but that's because we are in the original. So I'm going to exit out of this and now you'll see that it says Edited. When I click on Edited, I now see all my annotations. However, if I click back into the markup mode, you'll notice that this is flattened and I can no longer erase. I'm trying to erase. I can't select the tool. It flattens everything into one um, document now. The only way really around this is to use the marker tool, selecting it twice and choosing the white here. We're going to kind of use like a digital whiteout. And then I can save that and it'll flatten it again. When I'm all finished, I can select turn in and this will turn it into my teacher. Now I have successfully annotated and turned in a PDF to Google Classroom.